Okay, so we can do video in processing. Um, to open a, a, a video, like a QuickTime movie, and play it is really simple. And the easiest thing to do is just go to the File menu and look under Examples, Libraries, Video, I think. And uh, I think it'll just, it'll, it, there's a real simple example there. What I'm going to show you is just as simple, but um, this is basically uh, how, to use the, how to use a webcam and get video input. So we can either just type this in, import processing.video asterisk, or you can go to the um, to the uh, sketch menu and hit import library, and you're not really seeing it, but there's video, and that would do the same thing. All it does is paste that in. So it's the same thing either way. Uh, the next step is just to create a variable of type capture. This uh, canvas 320 by 240. If you try and uh, get live video at a really high resolution, it's going to kill the computer. So if you're able to do it at just 320 by 240, it's going to work out better. So this is the syntax for capturing that uh, webcam image live at 320 by 240. That's the first step. And the next step is to, uh, in the draw loop, First, we can do some kind of checking and say, if the cam is available, then do the rest of this stuff. We don't want to just assume that it's working. So um, cam read is the function. And then from there, it's just an image. So this cam variable just is just like any other image that we would show uh, on the canvas. So that's really all there is to it. I think if I run this right now, you should see my webcam. Yeah, there it is. So next thing is now that we know it's just an image, we can use the pixels array just like we did with a still image. So um, I think the thing to do is just after we read it in, we can do um, actually it's probably after here. So <clears throat> we can do load pixels just like we did with a still image. We know we always have to do update pixels. And let's just use this, a similar example to what we used before. I'm going to say for every pixel in this image that I'm about to show on the canvas, um, I think I can do this. I could just use width and height, or I can use cam width and height. They're the same. So width times height. So for each of those pixels, we can try our old trick of just turning that, whatever that pixel is, uh, into blue, just as a first step. Let's see if that works. So there it is. My camera light went on, but all I see is blue. So this is exactly the same as the other example I gave that shows the pixel array. And if that's the case, then you'll know that we can do some of the same things. So uh, let's say I only <coughs> I only want to, well, let's just do the easiest thing. Just say I only want to have the first quarter of the image be blued out, and the rest of it will be uh, the original pixel that was there. So there we go. So um, there's any number of things you can do here. You can start to... Uh, flip things, you can make uh, mosaic effects, anything that you would do at the pixel level you can do here. It's the same as if you were doing it with an image. So um, that's it. Start with this and start monkeying around in here and see what you can make happen.